there was a Zen master living in a makeshift hut on the mountain. One evening, on his way back from a meditation walk, he saw a thief rummaging through their hut but finding nothing. Instead of causing a disturbance, the Zen master took off his outer coat and stood outside the door, waiting for the thief. When the thief turned around, he encountered the Zen master. In a panic, the thief was met with these words, Friend, you have traveled a long and difficult road to visit me on this mountain. I cannot leave you empty-handed coming back home. It is late at night, take this coat to keep warm on your way back. Saying so, the Zen master placed the coat on the shoulders of the thief. Feeling ashamed, the thief lowered his head and ran down the mountain without looking back. Watching the thief disappearing into the misty forest, the Zen master murmured, how pitiful, I wanted to give him the moon to light his way down the mountain. A few days later, as the rays of the morning sun sparkled on the mountainside, the Zen master saw the coat he had given to the thief neatly placed in front of the gate. With joy, the Zen master said, finally, I have given him the bright moon. After hearing this story, I asked myself, am I tolerant enough to forgive others, and even forgive myself? In life, everyone makes mistakes and will continue to make mistakes. If we cannot overlook and let go, we will fall into trouble and exhaustion caused by ourselves. Conflicts and clashes between people are difficult to avoid. In such times, it is important to use a forgiving perspective to handle everything in order to avoid causing pain to both sides. It is also important to learn to forgive ourselves, not to always hold on to pain from past mistakes, but to learn to move forward, to learn and improve ourselves. In fact, learning to be tolerant is not that difficult. The root of disappointments and unhappiness comes from placing too many expectations on ourselves and others. This also applies to love. We love someone but expect them to be a certain way. When we cannot achieve what we desire, anger, disappointment, and blame easily arise. We cannot forgive them, nor can we forgive ourselves. However, if we approach everything with gratitude and appreciation, valuing them as they are, and let go of the desire for everything to go according to our own wishes, then naturally it becomes easy to be tolerant of ourselves and others. Martin Luther King, Jr. wrote, Forgiveness is not an occasional act, it is a constant attitude. Yes, I have learned that when we view life with a tolerant perspective, our mind becomes lighter and at peace. Thank you for your listening. Please leave us a like, subscribe and share. And please encourage us to listen more valuable stories. Thank you, thank you, thank you.